health watch tonight is your teen constantly checking their smartphone a new pew research center survey found more than half of teenagers actually will admit that they spend too much time on their cell phones and dr malika marshall is here tonight to talk about this and we both have lots of kids <laughs> uh, it says something that even kids have begun to realize that they're too hooked on their phones i know i thought this was so surprising that more than half of teens actually yeah. try to cut back themselves although a lot of kids actually admit that they feel anxious upset or lonely mm -hmm. if their cell phone is out of their reach now girls were more likely to say they thought they spent too much time on social media boys say that video games are their downfall um, research researchers also found that more than 70 percent of parents say their teens are off and sometimes distracted by their phones but then half of teens say that their parents mm. are just as guilty of the same so I think this is more evidence that not only do we need to try to limit cell phone and digital media use mm -hmm. with our kids but that we need to do it too absolutely true and absolutely guilty I mean I think we are spending so much time reading news as you say checking email you know doing work with our phones right. you've got to show kids it is kind of heartbreaking when you see a young mother with a small one and she's and just she's looking just at the like phone this and not and I do worry about mothers and fathers not spending enough time talking to small children. Right. So the more we report this, the more we'll be aware yes. and hopefully we can put yeah. the phones down. And more than two thirds of American adults say they're overweight or obese. And many try, of course, to lose weight. There's a new study that found you don't have to lose a huge amount of weight to significantly improve your health. So how much weight are we talking about? Okay, so these were researchers in Texas and they found that if you're overweight and you lose five to 10% of your body weight, mm -hmm. that you can reduce your risk of metabolic diseases by as much as 22%. By metabolic diseases, we mean high blood pressure and diabetes and high cholesterol, things that put us at higher risk of heart disease. Um, so, for example, if you're 200 pounds, losing just 10 pounds can make a difference. Now, the more weight you lose, the better off you're going to be. But what happens is a lot of people try to lose weight. They can't keep it off. They get frustrated. So they're saying this gives people sort of an attainable goal mm -hmm. that's reachable. And they do encourage people to do things slowly. So make mm -hmm. small lifestyle changes in terms of diet and exercise don't try to go on some crazy diet to lose 10 pounds in two right. weeks take your time isn't that reassuring because that is often what people hear that you know you're you are going to lose all this weight in a small period of time but even losing just a little even if it takes you several months that's better than nothing much right? better and you're less likely to then put it back and additional pounds on it right so it doesn't go right back on exactly dr malika marshall thank you so much